Hello people of YouTube. I uh, I almost didn't make this video. I had bought another one of the Star Wars Metal Earth kits. I bought the Advanced TIE Fighter. I wanted to make a video of assembling and review of the kit. Unfortunately, it's quite a bit more difficult than the Millennium Falcon. And the instructions aren't clearly set out step by step. There's a couple of different ways you can go. And the way I went didn't work. The directions are not really clear on where to start. And I decided to start up here. And it has you rounding off this piece and attaching the sides. I wish I hadn't done it like that. Because once you've rounded this and made the circle out of that, getting these two pieces on and twisting the ends is nearly impossible. And I flubbed it. And I continued on, and then later on, one of them popped out. And as you can see, this thing is misshapen. Because I've fought with it so much, trying to get these pieces on. And there's a couple little guns or something that stick out that I kept having to stop and open them back up. Because they were so tiny and so hard to twist the ends that they kept closing. Until eventually they broke in half. So both of the guns, even if I had to finish this, which I've given up on, both guns broke. And once they broke, they're really, uh, outside of gluing them, was no way of making it work. I continued on, and I made, started making the little back part, and this came out, this rounded part came out better than the dish on the Falcon, because I had done that before. But trying to get this attached to the back of here is nearly impossible. It is above my skill. There are people out there that have done it, I'm sure. And it can be done. And with some practice, probably I could put it together. But this kit is ruined. <clears throat> These pieces, this is going to be very difficult to put back on. This center part's been flexed so many times, it's just a matter before one of them breaks. Because this is thin metal. And that's what will happen if you keep bending it back and forth. So I'm disappointed. The, um, I started with the Millennium Falcon, and it was a little challenging, but it was fun, and it worked out, and I enjoyed it, and I wanted to do more. I suggest starting with the Millennium Falcon. I do not suggest starting with the Advanced TIE Fighter. I wasn't going to make a video because it went sour, and I thought, well, what's the point? But I actually kind of got curious, and I went on YouTube and looked for videos to see if other people had the same problem as I did. I couldn't find any. I found a lot of videos on the Falcon. I found some of R2-D2. Not very much of where people actually put them together. Didn't find anything on the Darth Vader Advanced TIE Fighter. <clears throat> so I thought I would go ahead and make this video to kind of tell others, if you want to get into these, great. You need steady hands. You need some good little tweezers. I started off using these. But some of the spaces are so small, I couldn't get the end of that in there. I actually had to go and buy some tweezers, but it still wasn't enough. If I were to do this over, I wouldn't have folded this all the way around the circle. I would have done these ends, connected, fold one end and connected it, twisting it. Because that's the problem, you're supposed to twist them. And it's very difficult to get in there with tweezers and actually successfully twist. So I would have... Before folding it all the way around, I would have put these two pieces on and then finished folding it. <clears throat> that still wouldn't have solved the problem with getting the other parts on. So, if you've got steady hands, you've got the time and the patience, definitely go for it. But be warned, it's not simple. You know, it's simple to understand. It can be done. I wish I had steadier hands. I, I, I almost wished I could get another one and do it again, but it's... It's above me. It's above my skill. So I'm not going to bother. I got the Millennium Falcon. That one's great. Turned out well. I had some trouble, but I pulled it off. But I wanted to share. But thank you for watching. I'm very sorry to say that I didn't finish it. It would have looked awesome. And if you look at the detail that goes into the laser etching, it would have looked great. And the Millennium Falcon turned out great. This is a much more challenging one, so be ready. If you want to do it, go for it. Great. But be warned. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And keep on keeping on.